Dr. McGlynn has his Ph.D. in biology and specializes in ecological chemistry. His practice encompasses all lakes and rivers in Florida and estuaries and marshes along the Gulf Coast. He has offices in Tallahassee, Florida and Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay. This aquarium with water in it simulates the ocean, the Gulf of Mexico, where the Deepwater Horizon oil rig is, is located and where the oil leak and spill is occurring in the Gulf of Mexico. This ring simulates the berms that collect the oil and bring it into one place. This is used motor oil. It's going to simulate the crude oil. We're going to pour it into the ring. This is dinosoil, a natural soil, uh, totally organic, certified organic, that will be used to disperse the oil into the water column and eventually to the bottom sediments where it will sink in the soft flocculent sediments on the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico, and the bacteria will cause it to decay and degenerate in a natural process. This sifter represents the boat or the plane that is going to disperse the dinosaur onto the oil and the water. Now we have the berm placed in the water. We're going to simulate the oil spill with real oil. Now we're going to take the dinosaur, it's going to react with the oil. causing it to sink and disperse. Notice the small particles, which will be readily consumed by bacteria. Dinosaur is uh, DEP approved but for the petroleum radiation program. We've used it in surface waters in Florida for cleaning up phosphate, particularly down in South Florida. And um, we, we've contacted EPA. It, it appears to be exempt from the certification project because it is natural substance. If you look at it under a microscope, you can see the soil and the oil, oil particles uh, swirling around each other. And what the oil is trying to do is oil does not mix with water. It does not like water. It's called hydrophobic. The dinosaur does fine in water. Yet it has surfaces that the oil can bind to that keep the water away from the oil. So the, dinosaur, the oil trying to get out of the water attracts all the dinosaur to it and it coats the whole thing around with dinosaur until it gets a little heavier and it breaks it apart. It breaks apart the slick into small droplets which then fall to the ocean bottom and are um, the dinosaur makes a good substrate for bacteria. Bacteria need a solid. So they can't just sit on an oil particle. They can grow on the soil and eat the, eat the oil very readily and very quickly. The salt marsh is one of the hardest places in the world to clean up an oil spill. Uh, these plants are um, Louisiana marsh grass. This is Juncus effusus. It's called soft rush. It grows all over the marshes. When oil gets in this, it sticks to the plants. It coats and clogs the pores. It stops them from exchanging gases. It stops sunlight from getting into the green chlorophyll molecules from which the plants feed and make sugar. So um, the oil spill kills the plants by coating them, by covering them, by stopping them from getting sunlight. This water is full of oil treated with dinosaur. And the dinosaur is not coating the plants at all. The oil and the dinosaur mixture is leaving the plants alone. So this is an example of an oil spill treated with dinosaur in a salt marsh that doesn't affect the plants at all. Now we're going to pour some oil, fresh oil, representing spilled oil, like it's occurring in the marshes in Louisiana. Now we're going to put the dinosaur on the oil around the plants.
wave action simulated. The dinosaur will cause the oil to fall off the plant, uh, conglomerate, and sink harmlessly to the bottom. Dinosaur has a, a long history of uh, agricultural usage as a soil amendment. Uh, it has a long, it's been tilled into cropland to improve uh, uh, water retention in the soils because it does tend to hold some of the water that rains on it. So in very drained soils, it can, it can really cause the water to stay around. It also uh, contains a lot of trace minerals in very small amounts that are available to the plants like iron and magnesium. However, dinosaur has been used, we've been using dinosaur to improve water quality where it removes toxic metals like arsenic and mercury and binds them totally. It just sucks them out of the water. And it does the same for phosphorus, which causes eutrophication in most of our lakes. The clay minerals are what take up the nutrients, the phosphorus. It's the organic acids in it that take up the heavy metals like mercury and arsenic. And it's the clay layers that release some of the, the molecules in them that benefit the plants like iron and magnesium. It's a very rare soil. It's only found in one part of the world. It is a class of clay called Montmorillonite, but there's a lot of other stuff in it. There's a lot of organic acids. There's a lot of humic acids, fulvic acids. And it's, it's not acidic like you would see a bog soil, but it, it has these, these complex compounds that 12 million years ago were gathered in this dying sea in the middle of North America. When the continents came together, it was squeezed. All the water was basically dried up, and you had what was left was this deposit. And after 12 million years, with geological forces pressing down on it, it has come back up to the surface in um, a ranch owned by Sam Ward where there's about 100 million tons of this substance, dinosaur. We've also come um, upon a, a, a Saudi study at the University of Qatar where um, they looked at natural substances to treat oil spills. The nice thing about a natural substance is we're not adding chemicals to it. There's no additives. Everything is organic. Dinosaur is actually certified organic. Now, um, you can use plant material, just like human hair, Plant material like hay or um, alfalfa works very well, uh, can absorb the oil and can be used to, to clean it. Uh, clays like, like, like kitty litter has been used for a long time to clean up oil in um, garages. Um, this Montmorillonite clay is much more effective at, at attaching to the oil in an aquatic environment where you have water involved the kitty litter would fall apart in the water. Um, the Saudis have been looking at Montmorillonite's clays too and uh, report an 80% removal rate for the oil using these natural clays. And where they can, we all want to use natural products made uh, from the earth by, by the forces of nature. And dinosaur is one of those.